guys what's up it's monica and welcome to another outfit of the day everyday style with me um if you are new this series is all about outfits that i'm wearing from home what i wear to go out to meet up with friends events and all that good stuff but realistic easy outfits that are usually very comfortable and easy to recreate so it's just basically inspiration so if you need a little inspiration every now and then make sure you follow this series um because i think this will be outfit of the day 20 so i've been doing it for a minute you guys love it so thank you for tuning in always but yes if you're new welcome um i'm a fashion lifestyle blogger based out of atlanta and if you love fashion fashion and more fashion including home and travel and everything else make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video because this page covers pretty much everything so yes subscribe because it's good <laughs> anywho um today's look is more casual cool i am heading out to meet a girlfriend for lunch and then we're gonna do a little shopping and all that good stuff so i'm gonna flip it around and share but before i do that if you guys need daily style inspo between these um videos make sure you follow me on instagram it's odd by Moni, and on tiktok it's odd by Moni as well for your daily style inspo in between now let's flip it around and share the look today's look is pretty fat glam but casual i um i'm working today but i'm meeting up with a girlfriend for lunch and we're gonna do a little shopping so i am wearing this sweaty betty black sweatshirt that i love this zara sequin skirt you guys have seen it in a haul i'm making it very casual today we've got the philip Lim booties i have my chanel um airpod ipod airpod case holder gold hoops are from lana um what's it called we have the little lagos ring Lagos bracelet with the Cartier and then my new obsession. Uh, I love this watch. So yes, I love this watch, the black New York um, Michelle Deco watch. This is the latest watch um, from our, my collaboration with them and I'm obsessed with it. It's the extra large. Love the black diamond. Love everything about the watch. Anywho, I, I'm obsessed. All right, and for glasses, I will be wearing these Marimage, G Marimage. Um, glasses. <laughs> Took me a minute. I forgot for a second. And then for a bag, Fendi Peekaboo. I see you. Um, and yeah, this is the whole look. You guys know I love a good style twist, and it's the holiday season. I'm wearing sequins during the day. Why not? Outfit of the day. Oh, I almost forgot. I keep on forgetting the style tips. So this skirt is super high waisted, and the sweatshirt is a little long. So what I did was I kind of tucked just the corner of the, the hem of the sweatshirt on the top of this high rise top. I also have my waist trainer on and I don't want to take it off. So I just tucked it in a little bit to kind of make the sweatshirt a little shorter. You can tuck it in a little bit more if you want to show more of the skirt. Um, but you can definitely play around with it. And I tucked it kind of where the wrap of the skirt is because the skirt is a wrap skirt. When you have a sweatshirt that's a little too long and a skirt that's too high, just, you know, take the hem of your sweatshirt, tuck it in, and then it works. And then also don't hesitate to wear your dress or your pieces during the day. If you feel like it might be a bit much, then pair it with more casual pieces. So I paired this very, very dressy, very festive skirt with this very, very casual sweatshirt, as well as my very casual Chelsea boots. So this always makes for the perfect look because you've got that just the position of glam and super casual and then obviously i'm well not obviously but i'm pairing well i'm introducing these fabulous glasses to the mix just to kind of you know add a little a leather touch of fabulousness to pair with the skirt so it's not lost in the whole outfit um and the glasses are clear too well they're clear ish so i might just wear them um while we shop more than likely no but you know if you want to that's always an option to wear a clear pair of glasses so yeah this is my look outfit of the day yay Hey guys, welcome to another day, another outfit. Today's look is fun, a little bit colorful, 
casual. Um, going for a quick lunch date with the husband. So wearing this beautiful sweater from Nordstrom. And then we've got these pants. They're Veronica Bird. Love them. You guys have seen these pants in a previous haul um, and in the Outfit of the Day series because you all know I like to reuse my stuff. So wearing the pants today and then these boots are number 21. I love them. Got them last year so I highly doubt they still have them in this color. But I do know that they do have them in black so I will try and link that. Um, what else? This look, I have my Loewe bag wearing it today. I feel like I haven't worn it in a minute. Then we've also got these brown Dior sunglasses, which I love. Kind of trying to create more of a brown-ish undertone color vibe story going on here. I mean, and whenever I do that, I try to not wear any black because I have so much black and I feel like it's always so easy to throw in black. So just doing the burnt orange with that brown undertone and then the beautiful pants with the beige and navy detail. Um, and then the brown shoes. So, this is my look for arm candy. We've got um, Michelle Watch, David Yerman, Dior Friendship Bracelet, and Apollita Bracelets. And then on this side, we've got Lagos, Cartier, Lagos Ring, Usual Suspects. Wearing large gold hoops. I'm trying to be very mindful of how... I shake the camera because looking at the video I noticed that and someone did point it out to me so trying to be mindful <laughs> to hold it steady <laughs> but yes um, this is the look style tip um, I feel like it's a very you know ob well not necessarily obvious per se but just don't hesitate to play around with color this season I guess for this um, sleeve of the sweater it, it is it is a bit more of that boyfriend silhouette so I tucked it in because it's so full and billowy on top you want to definitely pair items that are more full on top with something that's a bit more narrow and vice versa. If I was wearing, you know, very full wide leg trousers, I would have preferred to pair it with a bit more fitted sweater or knit on top. But yes, this is the look. Um, I'm going to carry a, or I'm just going to leave a coat in the car just in case because we might do a little bit of walking, but I prefer the look the way it is without a... Um, without a, a jacket so but yeah this is my outfit today's look outfit of the day I decided to add this little Talbot's vest to the mix. Um, I love it because it's so comfortable and fuzzy. So just in case it gets really cold, but I probably will take it off if it's not that cold. But it looks really good with the look. So now this is the full outfit of the day. Hey guys, welcome to another Day, another outfit um, today's look is casual fun elevated as always I am getting ready to go to a friend's house we're just hanging out so I wanted to look cute just because <laughs> but I'm very comfortable everything is comfortable so that's the key um, we've got this Prada baseball hat I love it I've always wanted one so I finally picked up one when I was in New York love it very comfortable um, wearing these extra large gold hoops that I love. You guys have seen them so many times. This windbreaker jacket to or top, I'm wearing it as a top basically, is from Banana Republic. Ryan gifted it to me last year, I love it. Um, and then we've got an old Miu Miu skirt. I haven't worn this skirt in forever. It is a little big. Um, so I'm wearing it with this more bulkier top, um, which is in that nylon fabric that is pretty much similar to the baseball hat and Prada has made extremely popular. I'm wearing it with the skirt because the skirt is a little on the big side so I can tuck it in and you don't have any of the um, bulkiness showing through because the fabric is thicker number one and it's a little on the bigger side for me so love it this way and I tend to keep one or two skirts a little on the bigger side just so I can wear them with bulkier pieces and it's not too tight or fitted or you don't see the bulkiness of whatever you're tucking it into so that's with the skirt and then we've got well I'll do the bag first wearing my Dior Bobby I think this is I don't think this is not the strap it came with 
This is another strap that I just have and I'm wearing it with it. Um, just because I like to switch it out. They're, it's very similar to the original strap, but just doing something a little different, wearing it as a crossbody to kind of break up some of the white. And also it ties in well with my socks. They're from Happy Socks. They were gifted to me year, a while ago by the brand. And then we've got the Prada loafers. So we're definitely doing preppy chic fun today. Um, jewelry. Jewelry, we're doing the Michelle Noir. I love this watch, one of my favorites. And then we've got the Lagos bracelet, Lagos ring, um, Cartier on this side. Yeah, and this is my look, today's outfit of the day. Okay, so this is the final look. I love to wear my bags on the inside. Um, just so when I take my coats off, I don't have to struggle with taking my bags off, especially when the bag is a crossbody, because I love to do a good crossbody. And then I love to pop my collar. I feel like people don't do that anymore, and I feel like it's such a chic thing to do, and it really frames your face. So I'm popping the collar of the coat, and it frames the turtleneck really well. I feel like it really complements when you're wearing a turtleneck. And then I also have my hair, the wig, inside of the collar, and just a little bit on this side out. Just because I feel, I just, I like that look of just, I didn't think about it, I just put everything on, even though it's clearly I thought about it. But you know, it's just, to me, it's just a look, and I really, really like it. So yeah, this is the full outfit with the navy and black. I love the look, I feel like it's perfect, it's chic, it's casual, and most importantly, it's comfortable. Outfit of the day. Welcome to another day, another outfit. Today's look is a little casual, cool. I am taking the kids to watch Sing. We're watching the premiere of the movie today. Um, so yeah, this is my look. I have to be quick because I'm running late. But this um, turtleneck, it's sleeveless. It's from H&M. The shacket is from Zara, old. Pants from Zara, you guys have seen this. these pants. Shoes are number 21. And we've got my trusty Fendi first. It is cold, but it is a little warm-ish in Atlanta. So I'm going to bring um, a shawl, my Louis Vuitton shawl, or, and just leave it in the car. Or I'm going to have a vest. I don't know. I don't know yet. But I'm going to definitely leave the vest in the car. And then for arm candy, we're doing Lagos, Cartier, Rolex, and David Yerman, Dior, and Cartier on this side, Lagos ring. Just did some stud earrings. And this is my look casual cool comfortable and trying to make this jacket chic I have to say I achieved that so style tip don't feel like jackets are just too casual or they're just a bit more masculine and you can't really wear them I could have easily swapped out these flats for a pair of heels to dress it up as well so don't hesitate to get a jacket dress it up where it has an actual kind of like a shirt as opposed to a jacket and make it work this way outfit of the day guys welcome to another day another outfit um today's look fun casual interesting um i have to run to cb2 to pick up some ornaments to complete the tree also some stuff for a photo shoot so i'm running out there i was also on a call i was doing some coaching for coach employees which was really fun so I kind of you know did a little makeup whatnot but I just wanted to look presentable but also comfortable because I've got so much work to do um, I'm now just kicking myself in the butt because everything else I ordered from CB2 arrived so I just I should have had it mailed to my house but I was like oh I'll just pick it up I was supposed to pick it up yesterday but anywho long story short whatever so this is the look I'm wearing this um cardigan and like sweater under it it's a short sleeve sweater from ann taylor you guys have probably seen this already in an outfit of the day video but i'm styling it a little different today i'm wearing it with these um 
shorts. They're Bermuda shorts from Nordstrom. I think they're Topshop. Got them last year, so they're, I know they're not available, but they're really fun. I love the color. Um, and then I'm wearing my number 21 boots. It's cold-ish. It's not really that cold, so I'm not even going to take a, a scarf. And I really have to do a quick in and out because I've got so much work to do. My office is a mess. I've got so much stuff in the background, and I have to submit so much. But, yeah, so the idea is comfort over everything. I'm also traveling tomorrow, so I have to pack for my trip. Luckily, I've already thought about most of the outfits. Um, and I will definitely take you guys along in the vlog, so tune in for that. But, yeah, so this is um, kind of the look for today. Um, the shorts, the bag. We're doing my Loewe bag in this kind of caramel color. So that's kind of like the general theme, the white, the caramel, and hints of black. Um, sunglasses, I will be doing my Dior's, if I can find them. I have no idea where I put them. Oh, I see them. One moment, please. So for sunglasses, I will be wearing these bad boys. Also got my large hoops. Um, arm candy, we've got the Cartier nail bracelet. Um, David Yurman, Michelle and Lagos, Lagos, Cartier. Um, yeah, and this is the full look. I... Uh, cannot think of any style tips right now because I need to head out and I'm hungry <laughs> but yeah don't hesitate to wear shorts I guess in the fall summer or well not summer fall winter um yeah that's all I got right now sorry guys but hopefully this is some inspiration for whoever, whoever wants to kind of try shorts um in the fall or winter outfit of the day Hey guys, welcome to another day, another outfit. Um, I am getting ready to travel. I am going to Vermont for work. Um, I'm partnering with Delta Faucets and HDTV, so we're going to have a look at the Dream Home, which will be very exciting. So this is what I'm wearing. Um, got on this beautiful Chanel scarf that I love. I tend to do this a lot, especially when I travel, just to throw on a beautiful silk scarf with a very casual outfit to just add a touch of chic, <laughs> um, per se. So, always kind of have that. Then got my Chanel 19 tweed. has a crossbody over this beautiful macage jacket. Um, I shared this jacket in my coat video if you guys haven't seen the video make sure you check it out it's a really good video very informative make sure you watch it before you buy another coat this season um and then under all of this i've got this beautiful ivory sweater from talbots it's absolutely beautiful it's got little details on the sleeve um throughout the knit throughout the chest area and then the, f the sleeves are nice and fitted because this jacket is fitted so you I always kind of have to wear something that's a bit more fitted but it is so comfortable it's like wearing a blanket and I love it and then these skinny stretch jeans are from <laughs> they're from um, Talbot's as well I love them I partner with them all the time and um, they're so gracious to let me pick items that I actually really really love and their quality is amazing so love it then for boots, we've got my Parenza Schooler boots. I love these. Um, I'm not sure if they're still available in this higher height, but they are. there are some shorter options, but um, I, I'm almost sure they're still available. And then we've got my Prada hat on. Um, what else is the look? My trusty travel bag, which is my Dior book tote, extremely durable. I finally got an organizer for the inside of it, so it's actually pretty good and there's still a lot of space and I can still dump my bag in there so I only have two items and then my new suitcase I love this it was a bit of a struggle <laughs> to stick everything in there because I'm gonna do a few shoots and we've got numerous activities um, I've got two pairs of shoes in there um, and quite a few outfits at least seven outfits so not bad and all my toiletries but yeah this is my travel look comfortable chic was the goal and we achieved that um, I have just my rings on and then my Cartier bracelets and a watch um, I didn't want to have to fuss with taking stuff off and all that so I'm keeping it simple hand sanitizer Chanel ear pod holder so I know where my ear pods are and this is my travel look I'm gonna increase the ISOs to make sure you guys can see this properly too
it's still very very early I think this is a little bit better so now you can see all the details better those are the boots stretch jeans the beautiful ivory sweater the Chanel scarf my macage jacket I think it's pretty cold there so that's why I'm taking this coat and it's comfortable and I finally get to wear it out <laughs> and it's belted oh I love it um brought a hat just doing stud earrings no makeup when I travel and yeah rings this is the look suitcases yay guys welcome to another day another outfit I am actually in Vermont um, on a work trip with Delta Faucets and HGTV, and we are getting ready for dinner. So um, the they basically, I wouldn't say they had dress codes per se, but outfit suggestions, because we're at a, la a lodge um, and there's snow outside and it's just really beautiful. And I will share everything in my vlog, so make sure you're following my vlogs. But yes, I'm sharing tonight's look. We're going for dinner. So I'm wearing this beautiful lily silk shirt that you guys have seen. I figured this would be a great look for the first night here and for dinner. So doing this beautiful blouse with these AG jeans. They fit really good. Look at that, they look great on the bum. Um, so yeah, doing the jeans, tucked it in. I didn't bring a black belt and I really felt like a belt would take away from the rhinestone detail. So I'm just keeping it simple there. And then I'm doing these Neos booties or boots. Well, they're booties, but having them out. Um, really love them. The jeans are just a straight leg. Um, you know, just something classic, timeless. And then have my Chanel 19. This is the only trip I've ever been on with only one bag. So this and my book tote. So this is the bag I will use for everything. Um, just because I just wanted to have a carry on and I didn't want to check anything in. So I just have that. So simple, chic. Oh, also, can we have a moment for these earrings? They're Judith Ripka. I love them. I am doing a partnership with them. So if you're on Instagram, you'll probably, you would have seen that. I think it should be out before this goes live, but they're absolutely beautiful, guys. I love them. And then I have the matching ring. Oh, everything. I love it. Let's see if we can get it close. So I can't seem to get it to focus, but it seems like it's more focused in the mirror, so. Love the rings with the flowers. There's a mother of pearls and diamonds in there. But yeah, just a fun partnership. And this is my look. Casual, but make it dressy, make it chic. Outfit of the night. Welcome to another outfit, another day in Vermont. This is today's look. You know, I'm going to take the jacket off because you guys have seen the jacket. I only brought one jacket on this trip and it's snowing outside, so it's perfect. So I'm going to take the jacket off real quick so you guys can see the full outfit and I can run out and get some breakfast before the first meeting. One moment, please. Okay, so this is the first look. It features this amazing sweater that I got from Shop Up. I think it's BB Dakota. Not, can't remember, but of course I'll have the links and everything. But I love it. It's cold out here right now. And I didn't want, I would definitely want it to be appropriate. And because this is also a work trip, but of course we always have to be stylish. <laughs> but it's more of a very casual, laid back atmosphere. So I'm wearing this beautiful sweater. I love the ruffle details. I'm gonna be shooting in this as well. So make sure you're checking out my Instagram page to see what the images look like. And then these jeans, they are from Tabots. I wore them to travel and I love them. Um, and I'm wearing them again today. Then we've got my Proenza Schuler boots love them they're comfortable i also have some really cool cashmere socks on to keep my feet warm they're from haven within i will try my best to link that as well then we've got the chanel 19 the only bag i packed on this trip that never happens but i did it on this trip and then we're just wearing large hoops today i redid my hair well i just got my hair wet and just you know put it in ponytail so just keeping it simple easy to manage hand sanitizer always We've got the Judith Ripka ring here, Lagos, and then some other rings, and then my Cartier and watch on this side. And this is the look, outfit of the day.
Hey guys, welcome to another day, another outfit in Vermont. Um, so right now I am heading out to lunch and I'm wearing this look. It's pretty cold, so I have no intention to really get outside, but if I do, I've got my blanket of a coat, so I'm good. But I'm wearing this turtleneck from Jay McLaughlin. You guys have seen this in a previous haul. I had it in my luxury haul. I have the image pop up in case you missed it. And I styled it a totally different way, but today I'm just making it a little bit more casual. Love their turtlenecks because they've got the fun little button detail, so it just elevates the turtleneck. And I love the rib, just a really cool piece to have. Love the navy. And then I'm wearing these super high rise black stirrups from Self Portrait. I don't think they're still available. They might be actually, I think I found them. So I will link them if they're still available. Then I'm wearing my new Chanel um, loafers. I love them, share them with you in the luxury haul as well. Let's let this light get back. Okay, so I'm also wearing my Louis Vuitton scarf, shawl. It's just the best thing. I wear it so many different ways. So just gonna throw it over my shoulder. Got my trusty Chanel 19, Tom Ford sunglasses I love, extra large hoops, and then just my normal jewelry. And this is the look, I'm running late, so this is the look. I can't think of any style tips. I guess don't hesitate to throwing in a little beige. The lighting keeps on going off and on, I apologize. But don't hesitate to throw a little beige in your black and navy look. And yeah, that's all I got, <laughs> outfit of the day. Guys, another outfit. This is for dinner. We're supposed to be skating afterwards. I highly doubt I will be skating because it is cold. And I decided to bring out my wig today because I just had a massage and couldn't be bothered with my hair. So just put one or two curls into the wig and good to go. So I'm wearing this um, cost turtleneck, the same self-portrait um, stirrups that I had on earlier but I'm wearing my um, Parenza Schooler boots. And then I've got my LV scarf on, just gonna wear it like a shawl with the coat. Um, yeah, so this is my look. Got the large hoops on and nothing special, just clean, simple, chic. And then carrying the Chanel 19 again. Outfit of the night. All right guys, welcome to my last outfit in Vermont. Today's look is a travel look, I'm going back home. I'm wearing this cashmere sweater from Jane McLaughlin. Love it, you guys have probably seen it in another video, in my luxury haul video and holiday outfits. So wearing the sweater and these brown, chocolate brown leggings, very comfortable. They're in that faux suede, love them. Got my parental shoulder booties, luggage is here. Of course, I'll link everything. Um, not sure if it still comes in the rules school, but I'll link it. Chanel 19, AirPod case. Wearing my silk scarf again. Um, going back home. Wearing these beautiful Judith ribcut earrings. And Prada hat. All right, that's my alarm. Time to get downstairs. And of course, my coat. Here's the full look. LV, sh LV shawl scarf. And then my macage coat full outfit of the day. Guys, welcome to another day, another outfit. First of all, just ignore the mess in the background. My office is a mess, it's the holiday season. I've got stuff from everywhere and everything and I just got back from a trip, so. But yes, today's look fun right so please ignore the in and out lighting I need to get my settings right again because the lighting has been kind of in and out but today's look features this suit from Ann Taylor I worked with them earlier in the year and this suit was one of the um, items that I picked up um, under that I've got this long sleeve fitted tank top from Majestic 
Um, I'm not sure if they still, if the brand is still sold, but I used to buy them at Nordstrom. They're super comfortable. They were about like $110 at the time and just amazing. The fabric is amazing. I got them in so many different colors, but so many brands have pieces like this. So just in case you need it, it's just that nice stretchy luxe spandex type material. Anywho, rolled up the sleeves and I kind of pulled out some of the black of the t-shirt so it can show through to kind of break up all the check going on. And then the matching pants have an elastic um, band and I, they're a nice high rise, um, but you can also wear them low because they are an because it is an elastic band and you can basically play around with it. It's got nice slit pockets on the side, so very comfortable. And then wearing them with my Chanel loafers, I love them. You guys saw these loafers in my luxury haul. They're just a great piece, really, and I just adore them. And I'm happy that I can finally start wearing them. And then we've got my Chanel AirPod case, which is a perfect match to the whole color color scheme going on. And then I felt like since we're in the spirit of Chanel, might as well just bring out the classic flap and wearing that. Um, jewelry, wearing these beautiful Judith Ripka studs that I love. They're mother of pearl and diamond. Um, just wearing my Michelle watch today, nothing much in terms of arm candy. And then we've got some rings, um, a, what's it called, a Lagos ring here, another Judith Ripka, and then Cartier. And just keeping it simple, it is a Monday today, and I've got so much work to do, so many back boxes to unpackage, and then some photo shoots to just do around the house, so... But yeah, this is my look. This is today's outfit of the day style tip. Um, if you have a suit like this, you've got a nice long sleeve top or shirt that you want to kind of use to break up all the pattern. Don't hesitate to, you know, scrunch up your sleeves and have that item or shirt or whatever you're underpinning of the blazer to kind of pierce through. That way it kind of breaks it up a little bit and just creates more interest. It also gives what is a classic, I would say more work suit a bit of a stylish edge also you can kind of get that by popping your collar um it just frames the face better in my opinion and it looks a little bit more chic when you do pop your collar so those are just some fun things that i do to kind of add a little bit int of interest to a classic silhouette so the loafers even though the lo loafers are classic they are very much on trend right now um, and they're fun, they're, they work with this look, but I feel like scrunching up your sleeves is probably the easiest way to kind of make a classic suit look a bit more casual and a bit more modern. So yeah, that's my style tip, outfit of the day. forgot real way to make it very stylish is to add a very on trend a bit more modern pair of sunglasses like this pair from Dior and now this is the full look guys there you have it those are my outfits those are my looks let me know which outfit is your favorite let me know which tip is your favorite um, as always thank you so much for watching I truly appreciate it um, if you guys are not following me on Instagram make sure you check me out for tons of daily style inspo it's odd by Monty as well as on TikTok. odd by Monica no odd by Monty as well and don't forget to check out my website it's odd by for tons of style inspo shopping links um, ask um, what would Monty wear page is just a good one. Ask an expert. There's tons. So check out my website. Have fun with it. Um, as always, thank you so much, guys. If you have been rocking with me for this long and you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, guys. That way you never miss a video. And if you're new and you enjoy the video and you enjoy my vibe, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, bye, guys.